Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to be picking cards to see what manifestations and blessings you're attracting into your life. So here we have three piles in front of you. We have pile one with the green of entering, pile two with the clear quartz, and pile three with the rose quartz. So yeah, go ahead and take a second to meditate upon the piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to you can pick based on anything the angel numbers and the timestamps below the crystals the properties it is really up to you but yeah do go ahead and pick based on your intuition and once you have done that we will see you in your respective pile Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. So you all pick the green of entry. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what manifestations and blessings are coming into your life. So yeah, we're gonna start off your reading by actually rolling the astral dice to see what houses are going to be impacted. What can you look out for? Um, interesting, okay, so we got Pluto. That is the planet of change, transformation. We got the third house. That is the planet of, you know, your social life. Um, even like, or not planet, but this is the house that governs your social life. Uh, siblings. Um, maybe you'll be getting closer with your siblings. Maybe there's going to be a transformation in your relationship. Or maybe you'll just be spending more time with them. This also does have to do with your dating life. Yeah, but expect a transformation in your social life. And, um... You know, I just feel like there's going to be more interaction with people. Yeah, and then we also got Virgo here. So that, you know, has to do, yeah, with the sixth house of work, career, health, service to others. So I'm also seeing, like, this is going to be a great time for your health. If you've been feeling a little bit sick lately or, you know, it makes sense with the seasons changing, you are going to be feeling a lot better. So that's a good sign there. Um, or, you know, that applies to anything. If you have, like, a dentist appointment and you just got something done or it's going to be as like or you need to get something done it's going to be as painless as possible and really good for your health in the long run this could even indicate like you know mental health yeah definitely you're going to be feeling a lot better a lot happier a lot more energized because of this pluto here you know that has to do with the transformation um or it has to do with change or transformation for the better like for the best so yeah um, and then with this third house, yeah, this really does have to do with, you know, like I mentioned, uh, your social life, friends, family, um, but especially like with an emphasis on siblings if you have any or people that are like your sister or brother or, um, yeah, even dating wise. So, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely go ahead and pick more cards to see what exactly will be happening. Um, but let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards from the numinous deck i feel like this is one of the best cards to do readings like these to see what other areas of your life will be impacted okay that's funny like this actually changed to a to saturn um what was this before pluto yeah so uh, let's say saturn and pluto it's funny because saturn is direct as i'm filming this so saturn is a planet of like responsibilities and you know sort of restrictions so i'm seeing that maybe you could be getting a lot of responsibilities or um now is really the time for you to kind of like i'm even getting just a lot of work vibes like now is the time to really um invest time and energy into your work or whatever it is that makes you money uh this also has to do with service to others there's something that you're doing that is you know service to others like this is, you're going to be seeing like benefits in that area because you've been working so hard because you've been diligent because you've been um very responsible because i'm even seeing that for a lot of you and it sort of does have to do with restrictions so you could have made sacrifices um in a lot of different ways like let's say maybe not hanging out with people to focus on work or waking up earlier sacrificing your sleep to focus on work Wh whatever it is it is paying off for sure okay so yeah let's go ahead and shuffle the numinous deck okay there we go okay we got venus okay so love i am seeing that there is going to be a big transformation in your love life um you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick cards and match them to the astral dice. So this was, I want to say Saturn and Pluto, okay? So both of them. So I'm, I'm seeing that there's, uh, because you've been working on your boundaries a lot, because like I said, you know, Saturn has to do with restrictions. Uh, the universe has really been taking note of that and just making you energetically attractive to people. And um, you're going to be attracting the right people. You're going to be attracting like people that are really on your level, people that are good enough for you. Yeah, so I'm seeing a big transformation happening in your love life. And for those of you guys that are already seeing someone or maybe talking to someone, the same applies. It's like maybe you'll be reaching that next stage or like uh, maybe someone will be a little bit more romantic towards you, more charming 
charming, more intimate. It's funny because I'm filming this during Scorpio season and, you know, this is a timeless reading. But Scorpio season is all about confession and obsession. So I definitely feel like someone definitely could, someone could be confessing their crush or love to you. Um, yeah, and this is also the season of, like, you know, getting intimate, like, cuddling, things like that. So I'm really seeing, like, um, all of that manifesting for you as well. This also says pleasure, you know, <laughs> indulgence sensuality luxury and wealth as well you know this also has to do with like maybe coming into like wealth or i'm even seeing you know venus is a planet of abundance as well but this more has to do with love but it's like maybe you'll even be attracting someone that's like luxurious or someone that's wealthy or someone that's going to treat you really well someone who's going to like take you out to like nice fancy dinners and plan things out and stuff like that yeah and then we also got ascendant outlook interesting so this is associated with the third house that we have here so it's like i'm seeing the outlook on your relationships is going to be really positive or your you're going to be making a lot of um you're going to be making good impressions on a lot of people and you're going to be attracting a lot of friends you're going to be um going out more socializing more i'm definitely seeing meeting new people um i'm also seeing that maybe you'll have a new outlook on your relationship with your siblings for some of you yeah but like i said this also has to do with your dating life and i'm just seeing like the outlook is really positive or like people are just going to have very good impressions of you yeah, or people are going to be very, like, you know, this also says, like, aura, first impressions, so it's, like, maybe you'll even be realizing your own aura, it's, like, something about your aura is just going to be, like, shining really brightly and attracting positive people, yeah, and then we also got Libra, yeah, this is amazing, so we got Virgo, Libra energy here, um, this has to do with the seventh house, and this has to do with, like, uh, you know, discipline, this has to do with work, career, service to others, so I'm seeing that maybe a lot of you, you could be meeting people, if you've been manifesting for love, let's say if you want new love, you could be meeting someone at work, or somewhere maybe you're a volunteer, or uh, it could just be someone in the same line as you, someone in the same field as you, maybe you'll have a lot to talk about because of that, yeah, um, because this also has, yeah, this has to do with the seventh house. Or maybe you'll even be making a lot of friends at work. Because this does have to do with, like, partnerships as well. Um, or, like, you know, friendships. And then also partnerships. So I'm seeing maybe someone at work could want to, like, form a partnership with you. Maybe they'll ask you to help with their nonprofit or something. Like, you know, because this has to do with service to others or help you. Maybe they'll ask for your help with their business. Or maybe they'll want to help you with yours. But I am seeing partnerships. I am seeing a lot of interactions that are going to result in something positive. A lot of really meaningful connections being made this time around for you. Yeah. And just a lot of peaceful times. This literally has to do with like harmony, fun, balance. So it's like if you've been feeling a little bit stressed out or like maybe let's say you have been, you know, for some of you like fighting with people or like you have certain, you know, like have had fallouts with people or something like that. I feel like uh, you know, that definitely could be, like, remediated. It's not, like, past reconciliation. Or maybe you'll be meeting new friends. Maybe those people that, you know, you are no longer in touch with, they had to leave your life for you to attract better people, you know, better circumstances, better, um, you know, more supportive, caring people, people that will be good for you, people that you'll be in harmony with. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what else is manifesting for you uh again this is looking really good for your love life and social life okay that's mostly what i'm seeing a lot of um okay so we got the page of cups okay yeah this totally corresponds to this venus card here this page of cups um has to do with like a confession of love page has to do with you know pages are messengers of the deck and cups have to do with love feelings emotions so like i said you know this really is the season of confessions and obsessions so maybe there's someone that's been crushing on you uh and th they're definitely going to be like confessing their feelings towards you their love towards you um yeah they're, they're i feel like there's multiple people maybe three people out there that are very attracted to you or yeah if you're seeing someone um or maybe already talking to someone uh, I'm seeing that a lot of you could be waiting for that confession or you could be, you, you want this relationship to go to the next level. I'm seeing that, like, that's definitely working in your favor. But I will say it's happening bit by bit. Like, you know, Paige, it's not exactly a knight or king or queen. So it's like, maybe it'll happen, like, you know, step by step. Maybe it won't go, like, full on out. But it's like, it'll, you know, it'll go at a pace that you'll deem very 
peaceful or like no that that's a that's a weird thing to say or like it'll go at a pace that will feel right to you like just right yeah and then we also got the six of wands oh my gosh so this has to do with like victory success achievements so if there's something that you have been working on you are going to be seeing the results of that you're going to be reaping the benefits of your hard work for sure um i want to go ahead and pick a couple of clarifying cards on this what exactly is it that you'll be victorious in yeah we definitely did get love so i feel like maybe there could be someone that like you know wants to maybe Maybe win you back or win you over or um someone that's finally gonna reach out and like shoot their shot yeah and then um maybe it could even have to do with this uh sixth house you know virgo energy here because this also says six yeah so it's like maybe you'll be noticing some sort of career success or some sort of recognition because six of wands does have to do with recognition this also has to do with fame so yeah you definitely could be uh getting recognized lo noticed a lot more um I feel like maybe a lot of people will even be reaching out to you because of that. Again, we're just getting a lot of interaction, a lot of networking with people. So maybe it's like you'll be connecting with the right people that will want to partner with you. Maybe this could result in some sort of brand ambassadorship or yeah, some sort of offer in that sense. Yeah. Okay. I want to draw a couple of clarifying cards for the six of wands to see exactly what it is that you are going to be successful in interesting we got the queen of candles and then we also got the page of candles okay a lot of fiery energy here so this has to do with like leadership like you know confidence success so i feel like um maybe you could be getting promoted maybe uh yeah people are going to be like applauding you for all the time energy effort you put into something people are going to be um like this queen of candles is someone who's very passionate someone who goes about everything very uh you know in a very like passionate manner like you can tell that you know a lot of people like want to be around her because her energy is so attractive so i'm really seeing yeah a lot of people are going to be are going to want to be around you in that sense but this also gives me like boss vibes like you know someone who's like a leader in their workplace or you know whatever it is that they're doing so it's like if you're leading some sort of project or even involved in it pretty heavily like maybe this will be a time for your leadership skills to really shine to really show because we got a lot of wands energy or fire energy candles wands yeah so i am seeing that you're going to be gaining recognition and you're going to be like applauded for all your efforts and with the page of candles this has to do with good news this has to do with like literally getting a phone call of good news so i'm even seeing maybe like career opportunities maybe someone's gonna want to like um yeah for some of you collaborate with you or you're gonna be getting a call from a recruiter or a message from a recruiter companies are gonna be very interested in you yeah but this does have to do with good news maybe let's draw one more card for uh, for clarification it's funny because we got two of candles so much fire energy i'm even seeing it's like maybe you could be taking some sort of trip somewhere or like things are finally going to be moving along um well and I, yeah for a lot of you i'm even seeing something to do with yeah like little traveling maybe let's pick one more card uh okay we also got the knight of potions so i also feel like good news in terms of your love and relationships because knight of potions is the knight of cups okay it's such an eerie looking card yeah but it's like the knight of cups has to do with making a love offer so i definitely feel like there's someone out there that's passionate about you that's gonna make you a love offer that may even like you know want to stand out or like they may do things to like grab your attention and it's like yeah with this knight of cups like they're really just gonna go full forth after you they're gonna I, we went from like page of cups to nine of cups so i'm missing a lot of major improvement a lot of major changes happening in your love life yeah okay let's go ahead and pick one more tarot card to see what else i can look out for a knight of pentacles wow so much knight energy here so knight of pentacles has to do with stability longevity um something that like yeah like this could have to do with uh your work life career life so it's like you're going to be getting an offer that's going to be really good for you in the long run this is um an offer to a job that's going to render you to be financially stable and like this job will be really stable it's like um because of all the hard work and efforts that you put in with this queen of candles page of candles you've really been grinding you've really been working hard you've been putting your full forward like time energy effort into something and it's finally paying off okay i'm also seeing there's a lucrative offer coming your way this could even be like a promotion or some sort of um monetary gains okay and it's going to be stable maybe it's going to be like a stable source of income like it's like you're going to be getting like a certain amount every month yeah uh, i'm also seeing like yeah this is also a job maybe you could be finding a new job or maybe getting into a new position where the things will be stable like there's going to be a very 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 low chance of like you know being fired or like laid off 
because of all the hard work, because of how great you are, because of like, you know, just how talented of an employer worker you are. Yeah. But I'm just seeing a lot of stability coming into your life, even in regards to love. So I really do feel like you are going to be, I, okay, we're going to get, we're getting different messages here, but things are looking good for your love life because let's say you're manifesting someone new. This is someone that you're going to be dating for a bit, like for a while. And if, for those of you guys that already seen someone or maybe you're talking to someone, yeah, that's also the same case. It's like things are going to finally progress. Maybe things have been moving a little bit slowly in this connection because Knight of Pentacles is a pretty slow moving card, but it's like, it's going to work out because it's like, you know, you and this person will really understand each other, get to know each other on a deeper level. Like they want something stable. They want something long lasting. They want something that's going to withstand the test of time. So it's like, this is something that's really going to, um, like if it if it has been moving slow, you're gonna be realizing why it did. Like okay, it's m moving into something more. We are entering that new phase, and it's because you know we've taken things slow. We've gotten to know each other on such a great level that you know this great abundance is coming. Yeah, uh, longevity, stability. This long-term commitment for a lot of you is also coming. Okay, yeah, so that is what we got for you, pal one. I really hope this reading helped. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, you can, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one. And yeah, I will go ahead and end your reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi pal two, welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is manifesting for you or what blessings and manifestations are coming into your life. So yeah, I'm going to start off your reading by picking cards from the Moonology deck and then the Numinous deck just to see what areas of your life are being impacted right now or will be impacted. Yeah, okay. So, ooh, okay, we've got nothing is yet set in stone. Interesting, mutable moon. Mutable signs are Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini. Maybe something could be happening during these moons or seasons. But yeah, I mean, let's go pick more. Let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see maybe what this means or see if we can get more clarification. I'm really taking this as like nothing is set in stone as in you're going to attract more opportunities. So this is like don't settle for like the first thing that comes your way. Really like um, be flexible because you know this says mutable moon and mutable signs are flexible. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely just seeing that is something that you need to watch out for or keep in mind because there's always like better opportunities coming your way and it's like... Um, this nothing is yet set in stone. I'm even seeing that like you're gonna have like a lot of options, a lot of opportunities, and it's like maybe it's gonna come all at once. Even like I'm like look at the way that the tide is kind of flowing. You know, it's I take this as like okay, you know, it's not a full moon, so it's not like super like you know high tides, but it's like it's getting there. Okay, so it's like uh, there could be if there's something that you're manifesting. Uh, maybe it might take some time to like get there, but once it does, it's like, you know, the, even this moon, I feel like it. this is a waxing moon, you're gonna like just have it all come at once. Everything's just gonna flow in all at once. Yeah, and I'm also seeing this nothing is yet set in stone could be that if there is something that's going on that isn't affecting your life or, or you know, that is negatively impacting your life or it's something that you... Um, don't really want or it's like you wish it would like leave your life go away like this is also a, this is a sign that that will happen um this nothing is yet set in stone is like maybe something negative could have happened and it's like we we're trying to like unmanifest that or there's some sort of circumstance that you're dealing with that just is not serving you whatsoever this is a sign that it's it's not yet set in stone it's not permanent it's not going to be something that's always going to bother you um it's totally something that can go away you, you know how you, if you can manifest things you can also manifest certain circumstances to go away um yeah 
you know, that that's just as possible. That that's just as valid. Yeah. Okay, but let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what else is going on. Okay, we also got the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so yeah, I, I this is a sign that like the manifestations that you do want, you are going to be getting them. It's gonna look different for different people, and we'll of course pick some more cards to see you know what exactly. Yeah, what areas of your life will be impacted? Because so far, yeah, we haven't gotten any like specific moon cards. So I just feel like. Um, or like specific signs like full moon in Pisces or something like that so I'm just seeing like this is a sign that oh my gosh this is a sign that your opportunities are limitless abundance is limitless anything you want is possible and it's like you're not just confined to one thing like you're gonna be getting like a lot of blessings coming in okay and i'm even seeing like smoother sailing i don't know why but this reminds me of smooth sailing yeah and then yeah we got vac wa oh my God. waxing moon and that's kind of what i predicted for this card as well and i hadn't even picked this card so it's like yeah something is definitely gaining momentum something is heading towards the right direction whatever you're manifesting is happening in the best way possible but i'm also just seeing this as a message that um if you want this manifestation to happen in the best way possible, this might be a sign for you to like cut out things that you don't want in order for those manifestations to come in, in order for you to make space for those manifestations to come in. Okay, like energetically, honestly, like the universe is abundant and there's so much abundance to go around for everyone, but it's like energetically to pave way for good things. You know, that does require shadow work at times. It does require getting rid of negative things and things that don't serve you. So that's just another message I'm seeing that, you know, clearly you're on the right path if you do this. So good for you. Yeah, and okay, we also got show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Interesting. This actually happens during Leo season. So I'm seeing this is going to be a really good time for you to like, um, okay i'm getting like be in the spotlight i know this is full moon in aquarius but i'm just seeing like you know show the real you aquarius is also about individuality so i'm seeing that you're gonna like discover more about yourself learn more about yourself you're really going to be like shining in the spotlight you're really going to be in touch with your most like authentic self you know who you really are um you're you're going to be even attracting things that like make you truly happy like you know you don't have to do to please anyone or anything or some sort of social construct even yeah Aquarius is like the opposite of following social constructs but it's like you're just gonna feel a lot more like yourself you're gonna step into the real you you're gonna be feeling a lot more happy um yeah I'm even like for whatever reason I channeled this message that you might even be getting some sort of job that's gonna be a lot funner to be in a job that you're gonna be a lot more passionate about um or just something that you do. You're gonna find some sort of hobby, some sort of activity that's really gonna make you, um, you know, like, ex it's something that you're gonna look forward to, something that you're gonna like, you know, look forward to waking up in the morning to doing. It's, yeah, I'm just seeing like, you're gonna be feeling a lot more fulfilled internally as well, a lot more emotionally satisfied. So that's really great. Okay, now let's go ahead and roll the astral dice to see what we get here. And then we'll pick some numinous cards and tarot cards. Okay, okay, we got 10th house. So yeah, definitely something is happening in your house of career work. I'm even seeing like status. I feel like with the show the world a real you, yeah, even the whole thing about Leo, you know, Leo energy is all about like shining in the spotlight, being recognized. So I feel like this is um, a sign that you're going to be recognized more at work. This is a sign that like people are going to be taking note of everything that you're doing or like you're, you're just going to be gaining more visibility. I feel like uh, sometimes this channel has to do with like a boss or leader. Maybe you could be getting promoted to a higher position or a boss or leader will take note of you and maybe at, they'll be the ones uh, to yeah promote you to that or I, I'm just seeing like you're gonna be getting some sort of praise and recognition from your co-worker maybe taking on more leadership projects that you're gonna be very successful at maybe some of you guys could even be into like project management or yeah you have some sort of leadership role and you know even if you're like an individual business owner I really feel like you're gonna be gaining a lot of fame and notoriety because oh my gosh okay yeah we also got the Sun here 
yeah, I just, I was definitely going to pick all the astral dice at some point, but I'm just like, okay, the sun and 10th house, you're really going to be shining in your 10th house of work, career, and you know, this really does have to do with like wealth and status as well, so it's like, I do see like an increase coming in wealth, in wealth, should that be something that you want, definitely some monetary gains, but also like leadership positions, and um, I'm even seeing like a promotion and a raise, okay, so that's a, that could be something to watch out for, and it might even happen unexpectedly, yeah, but it's like people are going to be taking notice of you i even feel like yeah we got this libra energy here and this has to do with like you know kind of like flirtatious vibes so i'm getting a lot of people are going to be like flirting with you they're going to be taking note of you you are very very beautiful attractive you know this venus or sorry libra is associated with venus and venus is the planet of love beauty abundance so i really do feel like in, you know your love life will also be shining this time around but i'm just seeing like yeah you're going to be attracting like really amicable people amicable partnerships but also yeah like maybe people taking note of you flirting with you complimenting you um you know, like at random places or random times yeah but this is looking really great for your friendship life as well um or like you're just gonna feel your relationships with people are going to be a lot more um like peaceful or like you're just gonna have a lot of fun times uh this this also reminds me of like i, I totally forgot what i was gonna say but i'm i'm just seeing that like overall your relationships your conversations with people like you're gonna be going out a lot more um yeah but your conversations with people are just gonna be a lot more like you know fun energetic like uh it, this is like you're gonna make a lot of memories that are definitely for the books like maybe i'm even getting some of you could have those polaroid printers to capture the moments yeah those types of moments are coming in for you for sure at pile two so yeah okay let's go ahead and pick some cards from the numinous deck to see what is going on here okay of course we got the third house of perception and we got scorpio as well okay so this third house of perception this says speech, thoughts, social media. Okay, interesting. Uh, I even got, like, while I was picking this, like, you could be blowing up on social media or you'll be getting recognized through social media. Maybe some brands will want to, like, partner with you through social media. Yeah, but uh, this also says, like, siblings so i feel like maybe you could be connecting more with your like siblings spending more time with uh i'm gonna say your family but like especially your siblings if you have you know if you have any or like maybe friends who feel like a brother or sister to you yeah i think we got a similar message in pile one as well and then sociability yeah this is definitely the card of like you know socialness so i just feel like you're going to be seeing a huge increase in your social life i feel like you're going to be meeting new people um or you're going to be like connecting more with your like you know current friends but yeah this is um this is great because yeah social like your social life is just going to flourish yeah i think that's what i was trying to say with the sun card as well like your social life is really going to be shining you're going to be invited to a lot of events there's going to be a lot of like fun parties fun social gatherings that you might have to go to i'm even seeing like yeah with this libra energy you know this does have to do with like fashion as well so um yeah you could be having like okay this is a great time for like a wardrobe glow up or if you want to try out like more makeup looks or something to like enhance your beauty um it could this could be anything you know like perfume or like anything that makes you feel good just like uh maybe not, if you've been thinking about like you know buying new clothes and things i mean it is for a lot of you watching fall season so it's totally okay to like splurge a little bit on the fall wardrobe should that be something that you're okay with and something that you want but i am seeing um maybe you'll even gain enough money to like buy more like it, and like yeah to buy more clothes to buy uh, anything that you want but i'm just seeing like you know some sort of like you know glow up happening and you just I, I just like imagine someone picking out like cute outfits and like planning out their outfits to each party uh yeah like to like different social gatherings and um yeah overall a lot of like really fun times await you pile too okay this is gonna be like really fun for you um definitely like more stress-free times and then we also got scorpio the animal okay i am filming this during scorpio season so that's interesting this is transformative intense passionate so yeah there is some sort of transformation coming for you we'll definitely go ahead and pick some more tarot cards to see in what area of your life um and like what these transformations will look like and what they'll result in but there is big change coming up and it's going to be good it's going to be i'm even seeing like therapeutic and healing yeah this is passionate as well okay and this also says secretive and i literally just saw snakes i feel like maybe some secrets could come out like this isn't anything you need to worry about this is 
you know, these readings are definitely not to like scare you or anything, but like, yeah, like I'm just seeing like some sort of secret, some sort of like um, thing that you didn't know about might come out. They don't have to be bad necessarily. It's like, you know, even to show this world a real you, maybe you'll find out more about yourself or like maybe you'll put two and two together and like realize something. And maybe for a lot of you, I'm even seeing this is going to be something that you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I realized this and now I realize I don't want it in my life anymore. In my life, so I'm just seeing like you're gonna get rid of things that you don't really want, or that aren't really going to, that aren't necessarily conducive to you, because this does have to, you know, Scorpio does have to do with like death and rebirth. Uh, it has to do with Pluto, which is yeah, the uh, planet of transformation and renewal. So that's also something that I'm seeing. But you know, the Scorpio also does represent like intimate times. So yeah, um, if that is something that you're into or want, I do feel like that is happening for you. Um, I'm also just seeing like, you know, cuddling and things like that, or like just forming intimate bonds, intimate connections, really connecting with people a lot more on, um, and on a deeper level. Like, yes, you know, we got this Libra energy, which is more about like, you know, fl flirtatiousness, being social, maybe like sometimes even more surface level connections, like partying and things like that. You know, you don't really get to know people at a party unless you're drunk enough, I guess. But yeah, I'm seeing that you're going to have both. Like there'll definitely be like a bigger group that you know, you'll just have fun with, but then maybe you'll um, meet like friends that you know you vibe with a little bit more or this could just be something that's already happening maybe the friendships you do have you'll be forming a deeper bond or deeper connection this is also looking really good for your love life i'm seeing that yeah you could be finding a partner with whom like you know you'll get intimate with in that sense yes but also maybe um someone who ha like scorpio energy is very deep okay like yes scorpio has a certain reputation but they also are known to like form emotional connections and bonds so I feel like you'll be deepening that with your current partner or like you'll be finding someone that's really going to like get to know you want to get to know you on a deeper level things like that yeah so yeah expect to get really like you know deep really raw really natural really just um like vulnerable as well again if that's something that you want you don't have to but I am definitely seeing there's people that are going to reach out to and want to get to know you more on that level so yeah um okay yeah actually i wanted to go ahead and pick a couple of cards just to see what that transformation is like so yeah i'll pick it from the light seers tarot deck it's been a while since i've used this interesting we got eight of pentacles yeah so this has to do with like uh hard work like building something um even like coming into stability but like really working on your craft so i feel like this is going to be a great time uh in terms of getting to your more monetary financial goals or if there is something that you do your craft whatever that is your hobby your work um your job like some something that you know you have spent a lot of time honing and really focusing on you're going to be seeing benefits from that you're going to be reaping the benefits of that like there's a lot more you know I'm just seeing this is going to result in some sort of stability. Like, for example, like, let's say you maybe have a YouTube channel, you're going to get monetized or you're going to start like earning more. Or um, let's say you have a certain hobby. Let's say you're an artist, um, you know, you like painting. Maybe you'll be getting more commissions. Maybe you'll getting more like you'll be getting more like steady commissions. Like someone will come to you like every month and, you know, you'll get you know some sort of money out of that. I just feel like, yeah, this is all about making money um, from your art or being lucrative or being like financially stable but it's something that you've been working on something that you've been building and growing that's really paying off okay so yeah that's looking really great and it's funny because like yeah the scorpio is associated with the eighth house and we also got the eight of pentacles so uh this is going to be personal for each of you but a little bit of homework if you're watching this find out what the eighth house is or what's in your eighth house what planets what sign is in your eighth house um if you know your rising sign your eighth house is um seven signs after that so if you know your seventh house you know that's like the house of love and relationships and eighth house is the house of like um transformation like intense relationships you know just whatever the scorpio is even like uh sex death you know things like that it's pretty intense you can definitely look it up but yeah just whatever scorpio represents find out what sign uh, and what planets are in the eighth house and um yeah whatever is happening there is definitely going to be impacted this time around but in a good way like for example if you have virgo in your eighth house then this is going to be a time for transformation during work or you're going to be like attracting a job or attracting some sort of opportunity that's um you know that you're gonna because virgo does have to do with like you know the material realm or 
yeah, it's an earth sign, so it has to do with like work and career and service to others. But like Scorpio is a very intense, emotional, passionate sign, so it's like you'll be coming into work that um, is going to be like that, more meaningful work, where maybe you'll be connecting with people on a deeper level, or it's like, yeah, something um, along like you're you'll be feeling more passionate about what you're doing, or you'll be put on a project that you know you'll like more, be more passionate about. Like that basically has to do with fulfillment. Yeah, that's just an example. Like if Virgo is in your eighth house, but people could have different um, signs, of course, in different planets. But yeah, just figure out what that is because I really do feel like that is going to be impacted this time around, but in a good way. I'm mostly seeing like yeah. Uh, transformations usually are pretty positive even if they are a little bit uncomfortable at first they definitely do result in something better in the long run so yeah um, and then we also got Sagittarius the Voyager so maybe someone could be taking a trip um, if you're watching this yeah you could be taking a trip or maybe someone will ask you to take a trip to come to them or they'll be taking a trip to you um, yeah I'm just seeing this has to do with like exploration travel yeah but I'm also seeing that you know this could be all about you finding yourself like you know kind of like self-exploration as well figuring out who you are on a deeper level with this Scorpio as well so just like getting to know yourself better maybe a renewal within yourself maybe like yeah you'll just I'm even seeing maybe there could be something that might like test you a little bit and um and like you're gonna come out stronger out of that okay so yeah that's gonna look different for different people i'm just gonna keep it vague because i feel like that's sort of the energy that we got in the beginning with all these like you know um waxy moon cards yeah but this also says like happy go lucky adventure so yeah you're gonna be feeling a lot happier cheery like i'm seeing a lot of luck is coming your way because this is also associated with jupiter which is a planet of luck and abundance and like good karma so yeah you are definitely due for good karma um and this also says like yeah, enthusiastic, like philosophical. I feel like um, there's a lot of like fun events that are coming up in your life that you're gonna look forward to, that you're gonna be really enthusiastic about. Yeah, and this also says like philosophy and like higher education. Maybe if that's something that you want, now would be a good time to start looking into that or maybe looking into yeah, different programs for whatever field you're in. But this also says like independence. So I do feel like you're gonna be like, um, you know feeling really good within yourself like you might be doing things like more independently or like I i'm even seeing like uh in translation or in terms of everything else that we've picked you might be given more responsibility at work or something where you might have to like prove yourself and like prove your skills and because and you are going to do that really well and it's going to result in this abundance with this eight of pentacles like people are going to notice your hard work um you know your skills and yeah like even with the sun energy here and you're just going to come into some sort of abundance, like monetary abundance or leadership or promotion with the 10th um, house here as well. But yeah, for a lot of you, I'm seeing this is a great time for dating because we did get this third house. I feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of options. In fact, I'm even seeing three. I'm even seeing maybe you could be attracting a Leo, Libra or a Capricorn. Maybe, yeah, even Scorpio or Sagittarius. Yeah. And I would even say Virgo. So maybe you could be attracting those signs or maybe you're with one of those signs but i i am seeing those energies coming into your life i'm also seeing that you're gonna have a lot of options in your love life you know if you are single and for those of you that are seeing someone i feel like this is going to be a time for you to kind of like um yeah get deeper um, have deeper conversations i'm even sort of seeing like yeah show show the world a real you it's like you're gonna be like more vulnerable with your partner yeah with that scorpio energy as well i feel like you're gonna have like a lot more deeper conversations so get ready to get intense yeah that's what i'm seeing here as well okay so that is what we got for you pile two i really hope this reading helped take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will go ahead and end your reading right here thank you so much love and light Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what manifestations are ble and blessings are coming your way in the near future. So yeah, we're going to start off your reading by picking cards from the Moonology Oracle deck to see what areas of your life are going to be impacted, um, what can you expect, and maybe when, if like, you know, the moon cards show like which full moons and things like that. 
Okay, you're really gonna like this first card. We got a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra. Interesting. So a win-win outcome. Okay, this could look different for different people, but Libra does have to do with the planet of Venus, which is a planet of love, beauty, and abundance. And it, this does have to do with the seventh house of relationships, partnerships. So I'm really seeing that you're going to come into some sort of like agreement with someone. If like, let's say, okay, for some people, like I'm seeing a legal battle, you're, you're going to win that legal battle or some sort of legal settlement or even something to do with money. Like let's say you had like some bill to pay and it's like, you got like, oh, overcharged or something like that but it's it's going to work out in your favor and for a lot of you I'm even seeing like uh yeah in terms of your relationships partnerships with people like it, things are just going to be so peaceful um things are just going to flow a lot smoother things are just going to fall into place a lot better as well because this is like a win-win okay and like this also Libra energy also has to do with peace and harmony and just overall good time like good energy positive vibes so I'm seeing like this is definitely a time of even like I'm getting like relaxation like you're just gonna be at ease at peace um anything toxic is going to be leaving your life like this is going to work out this again this just means things are working out in your favor for some people I'm even seeing if like let's say there's some sort of divorce settlement that you're trying to like um yeah that you're trying to like win I guess yeah that it's gonna work out in your favor or like you know yeah any anything like legal as well um is gonna work out and I'm seeing I keep getting like financially things are working out so you're gonna come into financial stability or I'm seeing some sort of financial abundance definitely coming your way and it's going to allow you to like lead a very balanced life i'm even seeing like a work-life balance yeah I, every time i see the scales i just always think like oh balance so that's why i'm seeing that you're going to be a lot more at peace at ease like stress-free times if like let's say you've been stressed out at work you've been working too much um then you're gonna have like you know a lot more just free time a lot more free time i feel like uh maybe the deliverable or whatever it is that you're working on it's going to um like you're gonna finish that project successfully or it's just gonna you know most of the work that you'd have to do on that is done or your workload will ease is also yeah maybe another um direction that could go in yeah so that's really great uh we also got a time for healing okay yeah definitely healing you know the, healing is always a good thing and it's like you know healing people are just like okay well if we heal if we hear healing that means there's something that we need to like the, that means there's something that needs to be healed and it's like you know it doesn't have to be that way healing is just like kind of being more at peace being more at ease like just making peace with some things like, you know you could be fine but like if there are things that like you know trigger you from the past or something like that or triggering people unfortunately there are always going to be toxic people it's like diff same game different demons you know things like that like i'm really seeing you're not you're in you're gonna be in like such a high vibrational state that you're not going to attract those toxic people anyways or even if you do you're going to have like a good um way of kind of just getting rid of them okay like those toxic people are just gonna like understand like okay you know what like time for me to heal i feel like maybe you'll even be spreading your healing vibes to other people maybe you could even be like a tarot reader or some sort of healer yeah but i'm just yeah if some if you are going through something and maybe it has been impacting you a lot maybe you've been feeling really anxious or stressed about something this is a sign that um you're gonna be doing a lot better it's not gonna be as like um stressful anymore like you're just gonna be feeling a lot more at peace i've said that so many times during this reading but like you know that is a very like strong message that we're getting here so that's great um this also says yeah full moon okay and then we also got new moon so something really could be happening during like the next full moon and the next new moon especially okay and uh, whenever we get like full moon and new moon in one reading i'm seeing oh sorry not this i'm seeing that like some sort of cycle is being completed so if there's some sort of like um you know just negative thing that you're dealing with maybe some unwanted thing unwanted person experience like whatever it is it's that's coming to an end and like energetically you're attracting like just better things better people better relationships just more harmony in your life in general so that's really great as well um and then a new start so yeah there is a new start coming and we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what exactly that is but there is um it's like a fresh start it's, you're gonna be feeling really energized uh really renewed yeah i am filming this during fall but for a reason i'm getting like spring cleaning like you know like 
when the weather starts changing and starts getting warmer, at least if you're in the northern hemisphere, it's like you just you feel different, you know. Um, you just feel a lot more like like the you know, the sun's shining a lot more. Okay, that's exactly the opposite, because at least if you're in the United States, um, if you're in the western and northwestern hemisphere, yeah, it is getting colder, but it's like I, I keep getting the cold never bothered me anyway. I don't know why, but I'm, I've been channeling a lot of like Elsa or frozen lyrics and readings today yeah but um i'm just seeing like you're gonna be feeling just so happy within yourself like you know the cold's not even gonna bother you if you do love somewhere where it's cold or like you're gonna be feeling so warm and like fuzzy inside like i'm even seeing like cuddling fireplaces maybe you're gonna be like meeting someone with whom you're gonna like you know share a lot of like fun moments with i feel like some of you definitely could be getting cuffed up fall is the season where that happens you know because people just want to be warm like maybe someone will give you their hoodie or you'll give them yours things like that okay but i'm just seeing like happier positive times coming ahead and yeah you know the reason why i said that is uh the whole thing about like maybe meeting someone or getting cuffed up is because of this uh full moon and libra energy this does happen have to do with romantic relationships so i am seeing that you could be attracting a romantic relationship for sure so yeah um okay that's looking really great but i do want to pick some more cards to see what new start is coming i'll go ahead and pick some tarot cards um yeah i mean i was initially gonna pick like different cards we are gonna roll astral dice but i was gonna pick uh cards from the numinous deck but you know i really like just kind of free ranging these readings kind of just doing things um but, ah oh my gosh <laughs> doing things like letting it just flow the way that it is, you know? Okay. 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 Yeah. So we got the, uh, okay. We got the eight of cups, the six of cups and the ace of pentacles. Okay. A lot of, a lot of water energy here. So yeah, in terms of this new start, I'm seeing that if you're getting this, if you're getting this eight of cups, maybe, uh, this is for those of you that are single. Um, maybe there's, you've had a lot of options. You have a lot of people that have showed interest in you but you're not really interested in them because this eight of cups is like walking away from something not really showing interest and there's like you know usually eight yeah there are eight cups that are pictured it's hard to see here um yeah even it's hard to see while i'm looking at it they're like in the water but it's like kind of like turning your, turning your back away from options kind of just like focusing more on yourself going into solitude it's like turning your back to something um yeah I, I really am seeing that like maybe these choices yes it's flattering when people like you but if you're not that into them like you know it's like you, know, you, you don't have to entertain them and like you're just at some time it can even get annoying like if they keep hitting you up and it's just like oh like sorry but i'm not into you but maybe you guys are too nice to like hurt their feelings or something like that yeah um and then yeah but we did get ace of pentacles and the six of cups so i really am seeing okay i'm just gonna say it if there's someone that you have been manifesting or someone from the past that you're into this person is coming back okay and i did not get that in any other reading like i was actually trying to make this reading more of just like you know what's coming because yeah a lot of you know readings on my channel are love readings but I, I am seeing someone from the past definitely could be returning or maybe this could be a new person because this also says ace of pentacles so i'm seeing either a renewal or like you're going to meet a new person and they're going to feel really familiar it's going to be a really fun time this is going to be a soulmate connection the both of you are just going to understand one another the both of you are going to feel very familiar to one another you're just going to get along in the best way possible yeah and this ace of pentacles like i'm seeing this is a solid relationship i am seeing that for a lot of you you're going to be getting into a longer term relationship okay and yeah this is something that you've been manifesting if you've been manifesting for like let's say a specific person this is your sign that this is going to happen okay yeah and i feel like all these other options maybe they could have been your birds before land it's like that usually means uh you'll notice things similar to your manifestation you'll notice like signs before your manifestation that are going to be very similar to your manifestation but not the exact thing like let's say you're manifesting someone for you to like ask you out maybe you'll have another person that you're not that into ask you out yeah something along the lines of that but like you are going to be getting the thing that you want the most okay and like i'm just seeing stability coming in for you something long term something even committed if that is something that you want but this is looking really great for your relationship life for your love life pile three so that's really great yeah again i feel like in the other piles we definitely got a lot more like career oriented things and um yeah just like other aspects but um yeah this is looking really great but let's go ahead and pick some more cards to see what other areas of your life will be impacted um actually i'm gonna go ahead and roll the astral dice i love rolling these yeah 
uh, okay, so we got the 11th house. That actually is the house of like, you know, um, yeah, it does have to do with your social life. It's, a, it's associated with Aquarius. It also has to do with like innovation, creativity, individuality. Um, but yeah, I, I'm seeing that like you're going to be like meeting a lot more people that are going to be like-minded. Maybe people that are going to motivate you, encourage you to like, you know, do well in your craft or like people within the same field as you as well. Um, but this 11th house, I really like this number. This has such a positive energy. 11 is like the twin flame number. So it's like maybe this person that you're with definitely could be your twin flame. Or this person that, you could, that you're could that you attracting. Definitely, some of you could definitely be attracting your twin flames. Yeah. But this could also just mean like, you know, your soul tribe. You're going to be meeting people that are like-minded very and very similar to you. Maybe you have the same goals in life. You can have a lot in common with this person. But I'm just seeing you're going to be like, um, yeah, making... I'm making new friends for sure, meeting new people for sure. Um, but for some of you, this could even just be like hanging out with the friends that you already have, like social gatherings. Yeah, a lot of like, I've been getting that a lot in today's readings. But like, this is looking great for your social life. Um, like a lot of people's like social lives are just gonna like blow up as in like there's gonna be a lot more like events, parties, gatherings and things that you're invited to maybe it's to make up for um <clears throat> what happened in 2020 you know but yeah but I also really like this uh this 11th house energy because yeah that has to do with your individuality so maybe you're gonna like you know find yourself on a deeper level you're gonna um attract hobbies attract things that are that are really going to fulfill you yeah okay i feel like this is very similar to title two you should definitely check that out as well um but it's like you're going to be embracing your individuality a lot more so that that's looking really great and just like learning more about yourself learning more about what you do like and i keep hearing like getting rid of getting rid of like toxic things and things that aren't really conducive to your well-being like you're not going to be attracting any any more of these like weird people or weird circumstances or situations anymore yeah okay so we also got the moon okay yeah this is really uh, this is great because um this is associated with your feelings so i'm seeing you're going to be getting in touch with your deeper self your deeper feelings maybe this could even be like a, you know be feeling a little bit moody but it's like it's gonna help you in the end okay it's gonna help you um i keep hearing like catharsis or like it's gonna be very therapeutic it, or like yeah, it's going to be, um, you're just going to be feeling a lot more whole, a lot more, um, what do you call, a lot more like yourself, a lot more true and authentic, like, authentic to yourself, if that makes sense. That, that, that was not like a discernible sentence, I don't think. But yeah, with the moon, this is all about like getting in touch with your feelings, getting, getting in touch with your deeper self. And this also does rule feelings, like, you know, it governs feelings. So I feel like Maybe someone will confess their feelings for you. I do feel like you are attracting a lot of admirers if you're watching this pile three. So yeah, I do see some sort of confession coming in for you as well. And then, okay, we also got Cancer, of course. That's also ruled by the moon. Yeah, I really do feel like the moon cycles might be affecting you a lot this time around. So um, maybe, okay, if you're someone that like, like, you know, is spiritual, I definitely recommend you make moon water during like the full moon. I feel like that's a great way for you to manifest or like it's going to be really good for you. You're going to be feeling a lot more at peace, a lot more calm, a lot more stress-free. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm sort of getting like moodiness, like moon moodiness, yeah. But, uh, if, you know, maybe spending time in the moonlight, basking in the moonlight will just help you feel a lot more like stable or like in tune with your own energy or it'll just like calm you down. You know, for some people, it's like if you're water signs, when you hang out by the water, um, that really energizes you. Like with earth signs, it's like hanging out in the earth or being barefoot. Like I forgot there's a term for that, but like, yeah, just walking on ground and things like that. Air sign, I wonder what that is. Maybe like being on a plane, being in the air or air activities i know there are some like pair um yeah paragliding or even hot air balloon or something like that yeah and then fire like okay fire is actually hard i don't even know how that happens but maybe being around fire like a fireplace or something yeah i mean it really depends on your side but uh with this uh cancer energy i'm also seeing that like i'm seeing like improvements in your home life as well maybe you could be um diying things or like doing more like at home activities like maybe making more projects at home like like i don't know why but i got like diy like furniture maybe like painting or renewing something within your home or you're going to be making some sort of changes to your home maybe changes in the aesthetic of your home maybe you'll be buying more lights or yeah just changing up the vibe maybe switching around furniture i mean i know it's good for that's good for like feng shui or 
yeah, like energetically, there's you know the whole thing with chi and things like that. Um, yeah, maybe you'll be buying more like accessories for your home, but like something to do with your home life. It is improving. Maybe you'll be like getting closer with your family members. You'll be talking to them more, communicating more. It does make sense because wh while I'm filming this, you know, this is a timeless reading. I do want to make this timeless, but I am filming this near November and that's Thanksgiving and like you know, all the holidays are coming. So yeah, maybe that could also be the reason for that. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick some cards from the Numinous deck, finally. I feel like I've been saying that from the start. Let's go pick cards from the Numinous deck. I've said Numinous so many times, like, I bet I'm gonna, like, dream about that or something. Okay, 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 wow, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I feel like this is definitely the love pile. Okay, the other part, piles were definitely more career-oriented, so if you want to know what's going on in that aspect of your life, um, you can definitely check out those other piles but yeah we did get leo the lover okay so this is great oh my gosh yeah loving playful flirting flirting joy warmth like that's that's exactly what you're attracting okay you're gonna be attracting like i feel like, i think we got this um yeah in pile two as well one of the other piles that like, you're gonna be attracting um, you're gonna be attracting a lot of compliments and people are going to be attracted to you they're gonna take note of you they're going to be like flirting with you yeah complimenting you in like random places as well um but like this also has to do with like expressive creative i feel like there's a lot of people that are, that are gonna want to take you out that are gonna want to spoil you maybe like take you out to dinner like i'm seeing like candlelit dinners or like something by the fire i don't know i kept getting fireplace but yeah, this also says like glowing. Yeah, I just feel like energetically you're really glowing. You've been working on yourself a lot. And um, yeah, this just, this you're just going to have a lot of like fun times because this also does have to do with the fifth house of like um, intimacy, passion, fun dates. So yeah, for some of you, for I'm seeing that a lot for a lot of you, you are attracting something long term, something stable. And like for those of you guys that are in relationships, maybe yeah, with this Leo energy, you're going to like, um, revisit like certain time or okay l let me think about what i'm gonna say because I'm, I'm just like getting so many spiritual downloads but like kind of like renewing the relationship with your partner you're gonna be going out on like you know a lot of fun dates or like i'm seeing maybe what you used to do in the beginning like you know how it's like really fun in the beginning of a relationship like you're in that honeymoon phase you're going out and having fun partying and things like that and like yeah maybe that that sort of phase is gonna come back in like you're gonna feel like brand new like it's gonna yeah there's some sort of like uh renewal happening in your connection but i'm just seeing like maybe you're, this could just mean your partner is taking you out on a lot more dates you're just like going out more maybe spending a little bit less time at home because it's funny we did get the cancer energy but I, I got a lot of like okay go out have fun like dinner restaurants things like that yeah and then we got venus love yeah this is why i'm saying yeah your love life this is what i was saying when i was saying that your love life is improving and i, I do feel like for a lot of you like if, okay pretty much every single one of you watching this like you're gonna like definitely at least go out on a date or at least talk to someone if that is something that you want for a lot of you you are gonna get into like something um serious or committed and for a lot of you i'm even seeing that your partner could want to take things to the next level maybe they'll take you out on the date, a candlelit dinner or something like that um and it might even take you by surprise and like They'll, they might do something you know usually what happens you know what happens on those types of dates but it's like maybe they'll talk about getting more serious with you or they might like want to offer you something more or maybe you'll have like a deeper heart-to-heart -heart conversation about something yeah and then we also got the sixth house like a sixth house of craft so this has to do with work career service to others um this also has to do with like health and well-being. I feel like, yeah, maybe this could be a time where you'll be focusing a lot on fitness or you'll be seeing results of that. You know, if that is something that you engage in, like maybe if you tried out this fitness regimen or something like you're going to like one day go on the scale or look at your whatever like your fitness goals are like you're going to be achieving them like i'm seeing a lot of great times coming for your health you know if you have been feeling a little bit sick or something which happens you know when seasons are changing you're gonna, you're going to be feeling a lot better like if there's something that you're worried about regarding your health you're that's not going to be a problem anymore or you're going to see very significant changes and improvement to that okay and then this also i, I would also associate this with like mental health i just feel like you're going to be feeling a lot more free a lot more at ease at peace i've said that so many times yeah but it's like it, this is a great time like you're gonna you're just gonna be feeling a lot happier this is a great time for you in like every single way like literally i think we get pretty much everything because yeah this also has to do with uh yeah your your career life so i feel like you're going to be noticing improvements um in that aspect of your life i'm really seeing yeah this is a contribution organization maybe you'll be getting like recognized because even with this leo card this does have to do with like recognition so you'll be getting recognized for like your efforts um maybe you'll be even getting more responsibilities to kind of like i guess 
prove yourself or something like that or you no know, because you've already proven yourself you'll be getting more opportunities and um more tasks and things like that yeah but like i, I feel like your career life like it's gonna be very smooth okay like you're gonna be getting tasks but it's gonna be things that you enjoy doing um you're just gonna like like going to work it's gonna be fun maybe you'll, you'll even be meeting people because with this libra energy maybe you'll be make me oh my gosh meeting co-workers that make things fun or be reuniting with some co-workers or something like that but like you're really gonna enjoy your work life is what i'm seeing and then we also got this third house of perception this is so great this has to do with uh social media social life dating siblings okay yeah i feel like we've been getting this a lot but i'm seeing something to do with your yeah like i said your home life maybe you'll be like reconnecting with your siblings more like talking to them more yeah but yeah this also says social media so maybe people will be hitting on you through social media i don't know why like that's or not i don't know why i think i do know why because like in the beginning like you know I, I feel like i sensed you had a lot of options coming in so maybe people will be taking note of you on social media or you'll really be blowing up in that sense um you know if you have like a tiktok or something maybe you'll have like that one video that will go viral yeah i, I really like this card it definitely uh talks about that at times and then yeah this is this just uh, this just says sociability so yeah your social life is going to improve or um it's just if you've been feeling a little bit lonely or like you know you feel like you're at home a lot i just feel like you're going to be invited to a lot more parties a lot more events and it's like you know sometimes people just like th that we have so much going on in our lives you know we forget to like hang out with other people or yeah you know really talk or reconnect and things like that but i feel like you know people are going to be like i guess remembering you like you know hitting you up more and yeah you're just going to be like going to a lot of festivities i'm even seeing like music concerts or some sort of festival yeah um i'm even getting like party partying clubbing you know the sort of okay that's not a radio that's a camera but i don't know why i thought it was a radio but i did channel that so yeah um yeah you're gonna be having a lot of fun pal too good for you and especially your love life oh my gosh that's if that is something that you have been manifesting you have hit a jackpot pile like it's, it's gonna be looking really good for you and i even feel like for those of you maybe if you weren't actively looking like spoiler alert someone is going to come in and it's going to be really fun and you're gonna have great times and it might even turn into something more if that is something that you want so yeah okay that is what we got for you pile three i really hope this reading helped take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure Sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here thank you so much love and light